Hey fragrance friends and enthusiasts, welcome back. It's Benjamin here at the Centaur Fragrance Channel and boy do I have a beautiful video for you here today. Top five fragrances from the house of Solana Hildi. Beautiful uh, niche fragrance perfumer out of Italy. Wonderful lady, very friendly, very genuine. Really want to get her on the radar, check out her fragrances. And today I'm spotlighting her fragrances and my, in my opinion, the best of the best from the house. So let's jump into the video. Let me know in the comment section below, have you heard about Solana Hildi? Would you like the sound of any of these fragrances? And what have you been wearing? What's your scent of the day and how's life been treating you? So the first one here is called Sweet Home. This is a cozy fragrance, guys. Nutty, comforting. Uh, there's this very soft, delicate vanilla. When it comes to the forefront of the fragrance, it's a very laid back, almost like casual fragrance. Almost blends and becomes like a second skin on you. And uh, so it's not the strongest projector, but it's just so cozy and effortless. And it smells a little bit like, um, you know, you just cooked a bunch of a bread in your oven and your kitchen smelling up so good. Maybe, you, you know, you, maybe you've uh, got some fresh toasted walnuts or hazelnuts or something in there. It's, it's, it's a charming fragrance. It's just timeless. Again, not the strongest performer, but it's just a cozy one. It's relaxing. So can't go wrong with, uh, you know, Sweet Home. The next one I wanted to show with y'all is my favorite from the house. This is my favorite. This is Buaissimo, guys. Buaissimo. It smells like an Italian bakery. You walk into that Italian bistro and uh, you smell the, the, the Italian coffee and you smell the buttery, uh, flaky, you know, goods. <laughs> You know, it's it's a it's 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 a beautiful fragrance, guys. It's one of my favorite coffee fragrances of all time. I will be uh, get trying to get a bottle in the future of this one. It's uh it's just an exclusive that's only available on Lucky Scent. So again, I try to you know tell you all the best information, and hopefully that helps you out. So if you are looking for this one, it's only available on Lucky Scent. And it's a gorgeous one. It's uh, If you like coffee, you got to try it. There's not a lot of good coffee fragrances on the market. There's Coffee Break by Mesa Margiela. And there's a few here and there that have some coffee. Montal Intense Cafe is quite popular. But uh, I have to tell you that Boissimo, certainly my favorite that I've tried so far for a wearable everyday coffee fragrance. Now this one is called uh, Neem Alo, I think it's Latine. I will uh, let y'all uh, in the comment section below. I'll put links to this one as well. This is a... Uh, this is a cozy fragrance as well. I'm getting a little bit of wine and a little bit of bread. Almost to me smells if like if you've ever been to Moss. It has a little bit of that vibe to it. Almost smells like almost like what a priest would smell like, like a Catholic priest, um, in a good way. I know that some I won't get into the details, but anyways, it smells like a religious person would smell like after handing out some wine and some bread and uh this, this, this fragrance, it, there's something special in the background about it. It has a unique sweetness and a little bit of booziness that keeps you interested. So this one's fascinating as well. Very well done. Again, I think Solana Hildy really uses her uh, bread-like notes and these almost semi-gourmand or gourmand uh, qualities and fragrances very, very well. And I think that's one of the reasons she's a standout perfumer. And I really want to encourage her. I'd love to see more releases. Uh, the next one is called It uh, Two. Let's see, um, um, Il Tu, how do you say this, Tule Panos. I've, I've tried to practice that. I'm very bad at saying it, but anyways, this fragrance has a cherry quality to it. It's cherry-like, it's wine, it's, um, it's got a little bit of like a fresh woodiness in the background, like some rosewood. It's, um, it's, it's, it's a fascinating fragrance. To me, this is like a calming fragrance. It reminds me of like, uh... You know, like bar bar ladies or, or people who like to go to the bar regularly. It has this almost lipstick, almost like clean cosmetics, polished kind of quality about it. Respectable, well, you know, well dressed, uh, you know, people who like to, you know, have a genuine, easygoing like time. And they know, I mean, they, they not only do they know the good things in life, but they enjoy that life and they go through life kind of effortlessly. It has that quality about it. It's um, it's nice. I, it's not my favorite, uh, you know. It's just definitely in the top five. But I do have to say again, Boissimo wins it for me. But uh, not a not a bad fragrance at all. Very respectable. And the last one here, I do want to give a shout out really quick before this one to Orgasmo. Actually, I think I lost my sample, and that one's a really good fragrance. It probably would have replaced um, the last one I showed y'all. The um, the, the tulipanos but uh, that one is more of like a creamy full-bodied uh, bready vanilla this one here the last one is called avatar and to me it, it's sometimes I go back and forth between liking orgasmo and this one better 
but today I think I like Avatar the best out of them. Beautiful fragrance. Um, she's got a little bit of that bready coffee quality again going on in the fragrance. A little bit bready, uh, but and uh, in the heart of the fragrance, this one smells a lot more like bread. A little bit of that vanilla in the background. A little bit of that coffee she loves so much on the top. But uh, this one is just clean. It smells kind of clean. It has a little bit more musk coming through in the background as well. So um, try out Avatar. It might end up actually becoming more of a second skin on you, but with a little bit more presence. And this is a fragrance that's supposed to have magic, and it just in, in, in just enhance your natural smell and make you smell like you, but even better. And I, I like that when fragrances kind of do that. As you know, this fragrance called Avatar. If you don't know what Avatar means, that's another word. Hopefully, I put you on and look up, look it up, look up the definition in the dictionary, and. Uh, it's a beautiful fragrance. So, Solana Hildy, congratulations to you. Some people might say that these don't perform the strongest. These are more of everyday fragrances that are, uh, you know, not super beast mode. They're respectable for everyday situations around people uh, where, you know, you want to be respectful, but you might want to smell really nice. These fragrances are not made to be in people's faces. They might give you six or seven hours depending on which fragrance, and they might, you know, project more on the average side. But um, there's beauty, there's quality, there's effort that's gone into crafting these fragrances. And, you know, Solani Hildy has brought something to the, the fragrance and the perfume market that, you know, nobody else has really done. And that's one reason I love, I wanted to showcase and uh, put these fragrances out here for, you know, the, you know, you, Hilde, uh, Solani. You know, there's, there's a lot of brands out there. They put out a lot of releases, but these are unique on their own. Might not be super artistic for the niche lovers and for people who like really mass appealing fragrances, they might want better performance. But for some people, this is going to be the sweet spot. If you, Again, if any of these sounded interesting to you, you might want to get yourself a sample. So guys, have a beautiful day. I hope that you enjoyed my video. If you want to see more of my content and you don't want to miss out on any of my videos, please like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, share the video, and tell a friend. I'll see you next time, everybody. Wear what you love. Rock what you got. Be safe out there and uh, enjoy the good life. You know, take it easy. It's the holiday season and uh, have, uh, you know, have some fun. And I'll catch you in the next video, everybody. I'll see you next time and uh, be safe. I'll catch you soon, everybody. Peace out. And